Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to execute the test engine test in custom order without using or taking the help of test engine XML file. Let me answer. If you are not going to take the help of test engine XML file, then still, if you want to run the test engine test or execute the test engine test in a custom order or your own order, then how it is possible? In test engine, we have an attribute known as priority attribute. Okay, using this attribute or by specifying this attribute beside this at the rate test annotation, we can achieve this. Okay, let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have this sample test ng project. In this project, there is a class. Okay, inside this class, I'll create some tests. I'll create one test and remaining I'll copy paste just to save the time. Public void, I'll say sample one. Okay, and I'll copy this, just paste. I'll just uh, name it to sample two. Or else I'll do one thing, I'll just uh, write a print statement also. System dot 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 print here. Sample one. What is you did? Okay. Done. Then now I'll copy paste and uh, here I'll mark it as or rename it as sample two here. This is sample two. And when it is run, here sample two got executed will be printed. Now similarly, I'll copy paste this one and uh, change the name again to sample three. Now we have three test methods. Uh, these are normal methods. These are not even the test methods anyhow. Okay, we'll convert them soon into the test methods. So I'll write down at the rate test annotation. So for the mouse, Import this at the rate test annotation from test ng library. Import it from test ng library. Similarly, add at the rate test annotation here and also here. That's it. Now run it. Okay. So right click, run. Let's see in which order by default uh, this uh, multiple test methods inside this demo class are going to be run with the help of test ng. Okay. Let's see the order, default order. Okay. After that, we'll, we are going to customize it anyhow. Let's see in which order they will be running. First, sample one got executed, then sample three got executed, then sample two got executed. Okay, these are order by default they are getting executed. So, but I want a custom order. Okay, I want the sample one to be executed first. I'll say priority, or else we'll do one thing. Okay, we'll do one thing. I want sample one is getting executed first by default, so I want it to be executed last. Priority is equal to three. I'll say, okay, here it's not capital P, it's lowercase p, guys. Okay, just a small mistake. And uh, here, what about two? When it is getting executed by default, two is executed at the last, but I want that to be executed in between. So I'll just mention for two, I'll say priority is equal to two itself. Okay, in middle it should be executed. Whereas sample three is getting executed in middle, but I want to get it executed in the first, okay, the first position, okay, first sample three, then sample two, then sample one I want, okay, custom order I am saying, I'm talking about custom order, in whatever the order you want, uh, then you can take it done, okay, your sample priority is equal to one. So whatever the method, test method, which is specified with priority one will be executed first, then priority two will be executed second, and then priority three will be executed last. So we are customizing the order of the execution of the test ng test. And here in this thing, I'm not touching any test ng XML file for customizing this order. I'm simply using an attribute known as test ng library attribute known as priority attribute to get this done. So first three will be executed, then two will be executed, then one will be executed. Three, two, one. Okay. So hope guys, you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.